Bluebird 829, uh, it's uh, A320 with information Kilo and QNH 1015 and our PDC on stand 302, ready. 0829, QNH 1015, checks. Can you confirm the first waypoint? Oscar Echo. Hey guys, welcome back to Aviation Active. So today we're going to look at the Shorts Belfast or Short Belfast, keeping in line with the rest of the Shorts aircraft we've done so far. So without any more, let's jump in and see what it's like. Okay, the Short Belfast or Shorts Belfast is a heavy lift turboprop freighter that was built by British manufacturer Short Brothers at Belfast. That's where it got its name from. Only 10 aircraft were ever constructed, all of which entered service with the RAF, the Royal Air Force. Who operated, who operated it under the designation the Short Belfast C1. So the history of it then. With a maximum takeoff weight of over 100 tonnes, Short Belfast is one of the largest turboprop powered aircraft built, behind the massive 250 tonne maximum takeoff weight of the AN-22 and the Douglas C-133 cargo master of the 1950s. The Belfast was developed in response to a Royal Air Force requirement for a heavy lift freighter capable of carrying a wide range of military hardware. This included artillery pieces, 200 plus troops, helicopters and or guided missiles over relatively long ranges. Short had studied a number of large freighter designs during the late 1950s and what became the Belfast began life as the, as the SC-5-10. Design work on which began in February 1959. Development of the SC-5-10 design resulted in the first flight of the Belfast on January 5, 1964. Design features of this aircraft then. Four Rolls-Royce Tyne turboprop engines mounted on a high wing, 18-wheel undercarriage and a beaver tail rear-loading doors and ramp. When Belfast entered service with number 53 Squadron RAF in January 1966, it was the largest aircraft to be operated by that service. The Belfast military career was relatively short lived and all 10 were retired in 1976. Heavy Lift, then TAC Heavy Lift, acquired five Belfasts for commercial service in 1977 and three were placed into service in 1980. Marshall of Cambridge performed a number of modifications on the Belfast which allowed it to be certified to civil standards on March the 6th, 1980. Since then, heavy lifts Belfast have given the company a useful heavy lift capability to carry heavy and awkward sized loads, with this only being bettered by the Antonov AN-124. Another amazing thing about it as well guys is that the RAF were carrying out CAT-3 automated landings at REE Bedford with the uh, Belfast as well. So what powers this behemoth of an aircraft then? Power plant 4 5730 shaft horsepower Rolls Royce Tyne RTY12 turboprops. Dimensions span of 158 feet 10 inches, a length of 136 feet 5 inches, a height of 47 feet and a wing area of 2466 square feet. Weights then, operating weight empty, 130,000 pounds, maximum payload 75,000 pounds, has a fuel load of 82,400 pounds, a maximum zero fuel of 205,000 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 230,000 pounds. Its max landing weight was 215,000 pounds. Performance then, Maximum cruise of 306 knots at 24,000 feet, typical cruise of 275 knots, range with max payload about 850 nautical miles, range with 22,000 pounds of payload was 3,350 nautical miles. Accommodation then, since it's a freighter, it just has a flight crew of 3 or 4. So another side note on it guys, whenever the RAF sold them to heavy lift basically, um, during the Falklands War and then later on the Gulf War in the 1990s, the RAF had to charter them back off TAC Heavy Lift. Now people are saying that because they had to charter them back off TAC Heavy Lift, it cost them more than keeping the, the aircraft in service right up till the Gulf War. 
So that's one thing the RAF kind of messed up on as well. So guys, that was the Shorts Belfast. What an aircraft it is. It's a massive aircraft. It has a bigger payload than the RAF's current A400M as well. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Remember, like and subscribe. We're actually on Instagram as well. So if you want to follow us on Instagram, there's a good few photos up there as well. If you want to follow us, um, it's up there beside the uh, Speedbird, top of the screen, guys. So yeah, just click on that. That'll take you straight to it. But yeah, thank you, guys. Please like and subscribe, as I say again. And thank you for watching, guys.